I, we're, we're getting to the end, and I'm really curious about this because you're you're a big fan of rad, Mike. Ah, uh, yeah, the biggest. <laughs> I'm really I'm really uh, curious because I haven't seen the movie yet. I watched a trailer for it. I uh-huh. uh, I didn't hate it, but I was so still confused. What is it about rad? Mm-hmm. That got, Nate, if you don't know what it, well, Mike, Michael, explain what I'll what is explain. it about rad that fucking gets you going? <laughs> so, so it, it's like a lot of things. This is a this is a meaty question <laughs> when it definitely should not be. But rad is a oh, nine, take Nate, your time, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a BMX movie from 1986. It's like a classic 80s movie. You know, a classic in the sense of how it was constructed. It actually didn't do well when it first came out. Uh, it became slowly a cult classic through like you know video stores and Captain Americas and blockbusters and all that shit and uh you know it was one of the first almost like viral analog stories where that tape just got passed around so much that it became like this weird swelling fan base but it's about you know it's like a come from behind story about a a kid from a small town competing against corporate uh interests with mongoose and like all these big bike companies and he you know he ends up spoiler alert he ends up winning at the end (laughs) but uh i grew up in a neighborhood in fort montgomery it was right outside of west point and uh, I grew up in this place with all boys. All of them were older than me. All of them had BMX bikes. I watched this movie when I was three. I learned how to ride a two-wheeler when I was four. I was going off jumps at four and a half, like because of this movie, because of the older boys. And like that memory and feeling and attachment to that part of my life is why I've loved this movie forever. And I've seen it no less than like, three or four hundred times oh, shit. i just looked at pictures of it it looks ridiculous i didn't mean to yeah you know, no like, no it, it's totally fair any, anytime like it, anytime i try to explain this to people i'm like i don't know if you'll like it like chances are you probably <laughs> won't it's a it's an 80s movie it's definitely like ridiculous but <laughs> That said, if you meet somebody that like in college, I met like three people that knew that knew the movie were friends still <laughs> just, just because, because of, that. of that. Yeah, you just have that connection. And I actually I got surprised. I was uh, I was a guest on Jim Norton and Sam Roberts like uh, two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I saw that Sam Rad had has just came out. Actually, weirdly enough, I named my son after the lead character. His name is Crew <laughs> and uh, C.R.U. Uh-huh. And the 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 first time for the first time the movie ever came out on demand was on my son crew's first birthday <laughs> so <it> just hit <laughs> on is, friday yeah which is so crazy so i saw <laughs> sam Ro- sam roberts got like the dvd sent to him he got it he posted it on social media i put a rad background as like the virtual background on my zoom and uh popped in and they're like oh hey what's up man and they're like nice rad background i'm like yeah you know i uh, saw you got the movie sam that's cool like just you know i was just gonna kick off a conversation or whatever yeah. and sam's like well it's crazy uh the reason why we brought you in is because we are surprising you with the cast of rad (laughs) and they fucking surprised me with bill allen who was crew jones bart connor who played bart taylor the bad guy who was in who was an olympic gold medalist for the united states in gymnastics and uh talia shire rocky's wife who played the mother crew's mother and she produced the movie with her husband wait was it so was it like oh did he literally surprise you or was it just a scheduling thing? <laughs> he, so he surprised me. Sam knew they were coming on oh, and, and, then asked, like, and then asked me the night before to do the show. But he uh, never told, like he never told me, alluded to it or anything like that. I was like fighting back tears <laughs> <laughs> for 45 minutes while we interviewed these people. And like, I mean, you know, it, it, it's funny because they just made me realize that I kind of work for the movie without realizing it because he was uh, the guy who played Crew Jones was like busting my balls lightly about naming my son Crew. But he was like, honestly, dude, that's awesome because your son is going to have to explain to people where he got that name. And because of that, the movie will live on. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. So I'm in I'm a fucking marketing rep for yeah, rad that's a, that's just a, uh, just through biology <laughs> no it's a great point because like crew is a specific name mm. oh he's gonna <clears throat> he's gonna get to a certain age though being like the goddamn name because yeah, oh yeah really having to explain it for sure yeah but at least um, it's easy to spell <laughs> yeah for sure sh- for sure w- wasn't there also like a crazy thing with like 
the D, like you couldn't get the DVD. Yeah, it was tough. I I remember in college, like when eBay and all that stuff was it was not not when it was just coming out, but when it was like really in full swing. I everybody would look for it, and they'd have bootlegs and shit like that. But they'd come and they'd be empty. You know, it it would just be a mess. So they haven't had a, a proper release since 1986 until this past Friday, the 24th. I have, I have, I just have a dream, a thing I'll be hoping for for you forever. It has nothing to do with your own aspirations, but I hope they reboot the movie and cast you at some role in it. Yeah. Oh, it, man. I want to play the drunk guy that's the head of Mongoose. <laughs> Duke Best. If I could play Duke Best in the next one, I'll gain a hundred pounds for that part. So it really had, that's, that's real funny. I didn't realize it had, I thought it was, because I remember like Tosh brought it up on an episode once before and Never i been I, more jealous i th- i thought it was like a run like just a running bit and then i remember hearing you bring it up and i was just like oh no this is like this is a lifestyle <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah dude i'm in i'm a member of the rad group on facebook and it gets real <laughs> intense in there um i also i've bought not one but two bmx bikes during quarantine that i'm fixing up it's like it's i don't know what i'm doing but i'm falling ass backwards into regression no i get it dude i i saw you post the bmx bike and then i went to my parents and i my my dad was like throwing stuff out and i saw my old bmx bike he was like ready to throw it out and there was a part of me being like "Eh, maybe maybe i'll fix it up maybe i'll fix it up (laughs) (laughs) you should yeah it's the best I I i bought the pads for my mongoose I bought the Crew Jones pads from the movie Rad. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, 